do one thing that does several things. This time of year I need to trim out the hedges so they're not a jungle next spring. Right. I've already done most of this and what I do is, is I trim them, I feed them to the goats. Ah, oh, poor goats. So, <laughs> another win-win thing. And I often feed them bamboo and I throw the bamboo into the pastures with them and then in the spring you'll notice I use bamboo all the time. Well I don't often reuse it because I don't treat my bamboo to keep it from rotting. Right. So, and it keeps making. So what I'll do is I'll burn up my, my old bamboo and then I'll take new bamboo and in the spring I'll just knock the limbs off. I'll show you how to do that. And then I store it somewhere and I use it all summer and all spring in the garden and for different projects. As you know, <laughs> if you've been watching it all! <laughs> all right, so we have one bed here that I did for fall crops. Now, are they going to keep making? Probably not. We had a 30 degree thing. We're supposed to dip into the 20s for the next, what, three days? Yes. That'll probably wipe out even fall crops. So some of them I'll leave and some of them pull. So it's time to pull these carrots anyway. Let's see if they'll pull. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Easily. Nice. And as Ooh. you can see, we got some nice, nice carrots. Nice carrots. Okay. And uh, what I'll do is I will take the tops off and once again I will use those tops to feed my chickens and feed my goats so it'll be a win-win thing now that one's too little let's leave it and we'll see if it's going to do anything you can't really transplant root crops now look at that one that one's a different color it certainly is came out of the same package as far as I know huh okay and this is the last of our pak choy here We've eaten all the rest of it. We ate it for weeks and weeks and months. Yes. And this one was behind all the others. And just like I, you just saw me leave that carrot in just because. That's yeah. what I did with this pocket. And it made. Well, it's not a whole lot. No, but, but it's some. It's made and it's... Okay, and I've got to take all the beets out too. Uh-huh. Show us a beet or two. Okay. So i got to pull these beets. Oh, that's hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the nice thing about raised beds. What do you do with those greens? I will feed those to the goats and the chickens as well. Are those edible? The greens, beet greens are actually edible, but we have so much Swiss chard, we only mess with it. I'll like, I'll mix it with Swiss chard sometime. Yeah. But, uh. And carrot tops are edible too, aren't they? Carrot for... tops are edible too. In fact, we'll use them in salad this winter. Now, you'll notice I have a bed of spinach, which is not very, I mean, a roll of spinach, which is not very big. Now, spinach will often do okay in colder temperatures. I don't know about those because they're so young. And they're not that young. It's just that they got stunted. We had a weird, we had weird growing thing all year. Yes, we did. But we can't bitch because we had a fantastic garden. Right. We have a freezer full of food, so. Yeah, exactly. But the spinach, I'm going to dig part of it up and move it to the cold frame. And then leave the, the bigger stuff here to see if it will go ahead and do something and do something i'm just like i love that carrot i'm going to leave some of the bigger spinach to see if it'll actually go ahead and make and keep making um because you never know they tell us we're going to get 20 degrees and then you don't get 20 degrees or we don't get it and everybody else does yes that does happen and uh we're so close to the river sometimes yeah. our weather is different and you can see some of those beets are quite big. huge yeah and some of them are tiny yeah They'll all eat. And what will you do with the beets? Um, I will probably just maybe I pickled a bunch last year that we love. Love, yeah. I might make some more pickled beets. Sometimes I make Harvard beets, but yeah. those those are a little sweet for a diabetic. Yeah, right. Okay, so there we go. We got quite a bit of beets, quite a bit of carrots. All right, so that's one or more of those things. You know the weather's going to change. You can either stand here and let all this food go bad, or you can pull it up right now and use it. And like I said, I will be later on, I will show you, I'm going to transplant a bunch of those. Yes, there's weeds in my red raised beds. How the hell did that happen? God hates me, that's how! <laughs> Oh, 
At any rate, okay, and these marigolds have had it too. And the uh, goats will eat those too. Yes, they will. They pick at them. Sometimes it's funny because when you first put a bunch of marigolds in there, they hit them really hard. Then after they've eaten them for a while, they're like, okay, that's enough of that. And I noticed you saved seed before. Why are you not saving the seed? For because them? I have gallons of seed now at okay. this point. Okay. I have gallons of marigold seed at this point. So, yeah, these will... You can see where they've got bit by last night. Yeah, yeah, they did. And they're all the turning. other ones had already died. These were kind of sheltered by the beets, believe it or not. Yeah. Oh, okay. poor Billy Goat's going to be forced to eat marigolds. Uh, well, he didn't eat, he ate the first ones I put out there. He ate them in like 10 seconds. Yeah. I imagine, I know they have a very strong flavor, but I also know that hell, we can eat them. Yep. So, um... So I know they have a very strong flavor, so I imagine it's one of those things that when you first put them in there, they're like, oh, that's super yummy, and then after they eat it for a while, they're like, more marigolds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, because yeah. they're assholes. Yeah, they are. You know, goats. Yes. What can I say? Animals. All right, so she'll come back when I have something else to show, I guess. Yep. Okay. All right, so as you can see, these beds that we started... I've already started to cook down some. I've got some pieces of old tarp that we had left over that I'm gonna, from a tarp that was dying, they won't last very much longer, but maybe they'll last long enough to work for what I need them to work for. I'm just kinda kinda lay them on there and uh, let them do their work. But you don't wanna do it until, you know, we had a good rain, that's gonna hold it. What I like to use a lot to hold down tarps, you might have seen me do this before in the garden, just any old container, some plastic container that's basically crap. You can use it for weights all over your garden or wherever you're working. You just put water in them. The water weights them down and holds whatever you're doing. And they're trash anyway. Yep. So there you go. And they're easy to haul around. You don't have to have all this fancy shit. Just fill them with water. Use them to weight stuff down. I do it all the time. All right. So right now I'm getting ready to, as you can see, these are spaced normally. These are not spaced normally. No, they're really clumped so up. So I'm going to try to dig these up and move them. And I'm going to get as much dirt as I can with them in the attempts to not destroy them. Okay. And now we're going to take them over to the cold frame. Okay. I will come back on there. 